Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you to, uh, how to bypass that issue with Windows 10, which a lot of people are, you know, getting that. Or, uh, there are no power options. When you go to, to click to turn off your computer, there's a message saying there are no currently, no, I'm sorry, there are currently no power options available. This is not a fix to get the power options back. This is some sort of bypass. It's pretty much creating, uh, I'll be creating two shortcuts. They will be placed on your start menu. They will show up here, which makes it a little bit easier. You can, instead of going here to, to turn your computer off, you just click on the icons here. Uh, right away, we, you know, you can shut down or restart your PC. So let's uh, get to it. So first step, let's create the, sh uh, the shutdown shortcut. Right click on your desktop, click new, and then click shortcut. When this box opens up, under type the location of the item, you can go ahead and enter, uh, you can enter the following, you can enter this, this command here. I'll make it a little, let's see if I can make it a little bigger. So you can see on the video. Uh, properties, font. Let's see. I'll put on the I'll put on the description. So that's what this is the command that I was looking at. Windows. So this is pretty much Windows System Thirty Two. Shut down. Exe slash s slash t space zero zero. So go ahead and copy this paste here let's call this shutdown.exe and go ahead and click finish now in order to run this you got to make sure it's uh, run with admin privileges so go ahead and right click on it once again click properties and click advanced down here make sure you're in the shortcut tab click advanced and click run as an administrator and go ahead and click ok and apply it so let's go ahead and do the same thing for the restart. So for the restart, you go ahead and click, uh, right click on the desktop, go ahead and click no, uh, click shortcut. And for the restart, it's a different command. It's, which is, it's pretty similar to this one, right? But instead it uses a restart command instead of a shutdown command. So let's go ahead and copy the restart command, paste it here. Let's call it restart dot exe you can call it whatever you want go ahead and click finish same goes with the restart make sure you're go to properties click on the shortcut tab go to advanced and click run as an administrator and go ahead and click ok and click apply so now i can go ahead and just double click these icons my computer will either shut down or restart so, but now I want to be able to make it easier. I don't want this to be on my desktop. Sometimes we have clutter, like a lot of icons on the desktop, and I got to find the restart and the shutdown button. So, what I'll do is I'll show you how to make it show up over here. So, there's a path where you can go to, and this is the path here. C, uh, you go to the C drive, program data, Microsoft, Windows, and it's current menu. So let's go to that, open, just open a file explorer. Go ahead and open a file explorer, all right. And paste that there. All right, let me go ahead and delete these here. Okay, now that they're there, I can go ahead and just drop, drag and drop these two icons there. Just try the admin permissions to do that. All right, that's one, that's two. Now that they're there, I'll go ahead and exit out. Open my star menu again and start typing shut down and it's going to sh oops it's going to show up here shutdown.exe you right click on it you can do pen to start and you can also do pen to taskbar if you really prefer it will be down here right so let's I'm going to do the same thing with the start the start no, it's restart actually. So restart.exe is right here. So you right click on it, pin to start, and pin to taskbar. Now, every time I click on 
my start menu, I will see both shutdown and the restart button here. So it's uh, it's not really a fix for you know the the, the message of there are no currently power options available, but it's a way around that it's quick and easy, and you don't waste a lot of time trying to shut down your computer. And also, it's down here if you ever need it. So, alright, guys, that's it. Uh, if you ever, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, drop a comment. I'll go ahead and add the path.